In this video I will show you all the locations of every chest in, um, in, the, in the Cosma. I will start with the Cosma, the, um, this one, the, at the Ligue, and then I will make the other, other videos for the Cosma underground mines. For this one I will split the video into small parts, smaller parts, so it will be easier to follow instead of having the map full of pins. I will also try to make um, the most easier path possible to collect them, so it will be easy for you to co uh, to follow as well. It's highly, but really, really highly recommended to do the chest hunt, so follow my chest video. After you completed the main world quest of the of the Cosmos, so Cosmo Delvers, and after you unlocked every single teleport waypoint. But it's up to you. Those chests from quests, I will leave them at the end. A squad recommended for the chest, this chest hunt on the Cosma of Liyue is some two of DPS, one Claymore user and Geo main Geo character to summon those uh, pillars. Unless you have uh, John Lee uh, Constellation 1, so you can summon two pillars, but uh, still, uh, because main character, you can choose where to deploy. So it's better. Now, introduction done, let's start with this first part, which is here. There are 14 chests. First of all, teleport to this teleport waypoint and uh, start in rain, really nice. Anyways, and go toward the west direction. Just climb this mountain. You will see this small village. Okay, I turn off the raining. Once you reach here, you will see this uh, type of uh, yeah space, something like the shrine. There is one chest, but you need four of those uh, rocks. Where to get the rocks? You can get them from here. So let's come here and get this chest first. Uh, exquisite chest, so you have time to fight. When you kill them, just open this chest. And pick up the Claymore character. Destroy these rocks. I guess you can get multiple of... You can... Yeah, you can carry multiple multiple of them, so just to carry all four together. Oh, only only three maximum then, okay. Carry three of them and come to this shrine. One, two, and three. Still miss one, so let's go back here. And uh, wait for uh, one of them to respawn. Or you could just uh, go here, yeah, into this small house. <laughs> Another exquisite chest. Once you talk those two, follow the road on southwest direction, you will see a Sili. That's why it's recommended to start from here, because the Sili will go toward this direction. If you start here, you will have to, yeah, uh, backwards. Anyways, just to follow the Sili, guide him, toward, guide him her toward the shrine. Ignore enemies if you can. Here we go. Normal chest. <laughs> Once you got the normal chest, keep follow the road. You will reach this point where you can see this small puzzle. This puzzle I already did it uh, because yeah for mistake, but uh, it's really really simple. What you have to do is just to come to this rock. You don't have to touch anything else. Claymore character. Do it once, you will see this will resonate with this one, resonate with this one, and at the end resonate with the rock here, destroying the rock, you will be able to get the chest. Took this one, you can go to the teleport waypoint and activate it if you didn't do that yet. Now, next point, you have to teleport to this teleport waypoint, which is the, which is the main teleport waypoint of the Cosma, because it's basically your base accampment. Once you're here, watch it toward the north side. You see this uh, really complicated mountain, right? Just uh, go toward this chest on uh, yeah north, a bit west direction. Really strange they, that they didn't fill this place with full of chests like in the corners. By the way, once you come here, you will meet those three different type of slimes. You just have to kill them. 
Once you kill them, exquisite chest. <laughs> now, keep go toward the northwest, you will see a time limited challenge. This one is a um, fly challenge. I collect uh, Geo Balls challenge. Come here, activate it, and just follow those balls. You have to collect eight of them. You can jump to here, you will not lose any HP. After you took this last one, glide. Collect those, those, last two, one and two. Normal chest. And on this platform you will see this small puzzle, which is not a puzzle at, the, uh, at all, because Claymore character, one hit. Chest will spawn. Exquisite chest. Then on this mountain is really hard because items keep falling down, so be careful guys. Now, once you took this one, just jump down. You will see a sakura tree, right? This is a sakura tree. Uh, not a sakura, this is a red tree. There is a silly there. Touch the silly once. Touch him, her, she will go there. Now, turn on your left side toward the west direction, you will see this small puzzle. This one, you have to time. How to time? You see this rock, right? You have, there are two of those rocks. Just hit this one. Once. When the resonate is almost on the second one, touch this one. I mean, hit this one. So both resona resonation will... Okay, you can see this is a bad timing because it's not uh, really, really correct. So hit this one. Immediately go to this one and touch it. Hit it. You have to resonate both uh, this rock with the two resonance, uh, re uh, resonances in a really, really short time. Get this exquisite chest and keep follow the silly. Keep go, keep go. Once you reach this point, this point here, you have to go here in the corner, hit this uh, resonance stone to open that um, that stone, and the silly will go to the shrine. Get the normal chest. Now, once you go to the chest, go toward the southeast direction. Turn a bit more on the east. Okay. Near to this red tree. Keep go. Want to jump down. And here you will see another small puzzle. This one is also really simple. We have to destroy this one to get the particle first. Activate this small device and hit the resonate pillar. Okay, here we go. Normal chest. Got this normal chest. You have to go downside from here. You will see a small treasure holder's camp. Kill them. Once you kill them, you will unlock this uh, normal chest, take it. Now, go toward uh, this uh, tree, climb this uh, wooden thingy, from uh, this way. And go to this uh, platform. Use the Geo character to summon a pillar, and just to follow those, uh, those uh, particles. Once you reach uh, here, because uh, unless you have a Kazuha or someone really tall, just to create a, this pillar and fly to the edge of the uh, bridge. Keep collect. Normal chest will spawn. Got this normal chest. Turn back toward the northeast dire uh, southeast direction. You see this uh, balloon, right? Balloon plant. Go toward it. You will need uh, um, you will need a, a bow user. Okay, just to pick up, uh, pick out a bow user. Do this challenge. A normal chest will spawn. Okay. Got this chest. 
Go toward the northeast direction. You will see this slime. Near to this slime, dentro slime, you will see a puzzle. Just go down. Really simple, just hit the resonance pillar. It will break the stone. Come on, chest. And with this first part, it's done. 14 chests. Okay, now let's go with the second route, which is this one, with a total of 14 chests as well. So, first of all, uh, for, first of all just teleport to this teleport waypoint and watch downside, so toward the east, no, west direction. Going down, you will Im immediately see a um, common chest there. This one, you have to destroy this uh, rock, then this, then destroy this rock, and open it. Once you open this one, uh, watch this road on the northwest direction. Keep go downside, and you will see the, there is a heliture with a special gate as well. Just hit this uh, resonance uh, pillar, will instant kill the healer without uh, giving him too much pain, and there is a common chest inside. It is a common chest, near to it there is uh, you will immediately see this Sealy. Follow the Sealy. Guide him or her to the shrine. Activate this teleport waypoint if you didn't yet. Here we go, common chest. Okay. Now what you have to do is just go back to this teleport waypoint and go toward the southeast direction. You will see this uh, normal common chest inside the treasure holder's camp. Just to kill those enemies. And take this normal chest as well. Look at this one. Can you follow this uh, rod with the minecarts? Toward the uh, southeast uh, direction. You can do this. While you sprint, the moment you sprint and you're on this stone, press jump. You will do a really, really cool thing. Like this. You will walk for a really long uh, distance and you will not take damage when you fall. Pretty good to travel. Anyway, so here in the middle of this uh, road, you will find other treasure holders with a common chest. Just a kill. Now, to this one, you will see there is another boosted uh, boost platform in, uh, in front of you. Just uh, go on it and jump toward this, uh, yeah, this uh, is really second floor. Here, you will see you can destroy this ro rock. Just this right. And uh, here is a common chest inside it. <laughs> if you want, you can also mine those uh, crystals. Now, next. Jump down from here. And uh, downside in this house, you will see a, a com yeah. natural exquisite chest. Take this one. Teleport to this teleport waypoint in front of you if you didn't. Uh, if you already unlocked, if you didn't, uh, yeah, just uh, come to this uh, booster turret, sprint and jump. Go to this balloon, balloon plant, activate it, and destroy the balloons to get this normal chest. Go to this one, go toward the north direction. Here you will see a city. Touch the city only one time. Then go on this rock here. Actually, two times, yeah. On this rock, you will see there is a um, shovel and you can dig. A common chest will spawn. Just dig here. Okay, go down. And keep uh, follow the sea. I mean, keep guide the sea. Now, be, be careful to the jump scare because uh, uh, this wall will be destroyed by a joby shape. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Anyways, the Sealy will go on the shrine. 
And uh, uh, exquisite chest will spawn. Okay, this Jovi shape pissed me off, so I will just uh, kill him. Okay, next one, uh, go to this uh, uh, Fatui camp you see in front of you. Just to kill those enemies. Okay. Kill them all, uh, and you can open this uh, precious chest. Now, from here, you will see this uh, building, right? At the, uh, on the stairs here, you will see a uh, Sealy. Basically, on the west direction. Just uh, touch the Sealy once. Okay, keep follow him. Reach at least at this point uh, on the ladders. Touch him one more time to let him go inside the house. Once he is inside the house, climb this ladder. There's a chest right here. You take this normal chest and you will see another common chest protected by those uh, treasure holders. Kill them. And take the chest. Now jump down from this hole and go inside where you left the ceiling before. And keep guiding him to downside. Here. Exquisite chest will spawn, if I remember, yeah? Here is the place where you can get an um, item for the quest um, the Millennial Mountains. So if you want, you can already take it now. This one, Helm of Warding. And for this route, it's finished. Now, let's continue with the third route, which is uh, this one, other 15 chests. Basically, yeah, just teleport to this teleport waypoint you activated before. And now, watch it toward this mountain. You see there is a challenge, time-limited challenge. Uh, just to move toward south east. You can see there is a boost tower, so you don't have to climb. Just to jump to it. Do we not lose HP as well? Okay. Careful to this uh, challenge because you may lose some particles, so yeah, be careful. Wait for stamina, start this challenge. Okay, now, drop down to hit this one. Okay, take those two. And fly. There is one in the middle, so be careful. Okay, you got the middle one. Now, keep watch here. Drop down to hit this one. Keep fly. This one. Okay. Fly. Last one. Let's hit it. Okay, here we go. Exquisite chest spawn. Now, after you took this one, there are three of them to take together. How to take them? Prepare your ge uh, Geo uh, main character. Go downside from here. You will see there is a... how it's called? Reson uh, resonance uh, resonance tour, uh, pillar, right? So, what you have to do is... Uh, first of all, kill those healishers because they are pretty annoying. Okay. After you killed... Uh, Alright, just uh, place one to trigger this uh, platform. And claim a character to attack this uh, chest. Get it first. Geo Traveler to put another one between those two. So you can resonate that one as well. Claymore, hit once. This one will get destroyed, killing that rock. While this one will open that rock. So you will get two chests. Let's collect the bottom side one first. Okay. Next one. Here. Now, once you took this one, let's kill that treasure hoarder first because it's annoying to see him. Nice. You will see. Uh, yeah, Paimon will start a dialogue if it's the first time you come here. Uh, okay. There is a rock where you have to do one resonance. Yeah, just to use the claymore to hit this giant rock. Okay, get this chest. And now, go toward the domain. What you have to do here is, uh, yeah, try to hit the giant pillar again. So the resonance will hit this one, then hit this one. 
and then kill all those enemies together. So you will be able to take this chest. Just to take it. Now, once you took the chest, don't do anything yet, uh, first. You have to place one uh, construction between this and this. So later we will be able to open a crystal chest there. So just to place it uh, here. Okay. Next one. Place it on this uh, thingy to summon a chest as well. Also later the resonance will destroy the door. Okay. Now go on this one. Fly to that chest. Because we triggered with the plate. Okay. Open the chest. Claim or attack. Hit. To create the resonance. Fly back using this. Okay, you will see the domain will be open. And this one will keep uh, resonate with the others. And open the next door there. Basically there. Okay. So after you did this. Go inside uh, the domain. Go inside this tunnel cave to activate the domain first. So you can teleport here later. Okay. After you, do, after you did this. Go back, uh, uh, go outside again, turn on right side, so toward the east direction, and you can see that the chest at the beginning is locked with a um, mural with a rock, but with this resonance we did before, you will be able to take it. Took this one, go back, if you want you can use this one. Go to this, uh, in front of the domain, uh, the cave, uh, you will see another, um, how it's called, uh, boost, uh, boost platform. Go on it, jump top, uh, you will see this cannon. This cannon is really important. Okay. What to do with this cannon? Operate. Click left side 1. Left side 2. Left side 3. Downside one and shoot to hit basically this. Now just to fly to it because here is um, there is a rock that you cannot destroy with the plunger attack only with the cannon or the resonance here. But you have to deploy something here. So yeah, better with the cannon. Now you can drop it down, but don't use plunger attack because there are barriers. You will kill yourself. Just to fly down slowly, slowly, be gentle, okay, kill those two spiders if they annoy, annoy you. You will open this, uh, this as well. Oh, where's all the, okay, dead. And we can get this precious chest. The <laughs> lines will spawn, just to go out from here. You will notice that in front of, uh, uh, outside this cave is the teleport waypoint. Anyways, jump down. There is a... Uh, Chest guarded by this uh, Jewish ship. Just to kill. Okay. After you killed, just to get the chest. And teleport back now to the domain we activate, uh, activated before. From here, turn back, you will see this hole. Just uh, drop down, plunge attack because there's air current. If you open the glide, you will fly. And uh, walk till the end. You will see um, a luxurious chest. Just open it, and the trigger this uh, geo ball to destroy this wall. This wall is linked outside here. Now, don't go on right side, but go straight in front of you. Get out from this small waterfall, you will see a Sealy. This Sealy will appear only after you drop down this uh, keystone, so be careful. Okay, guide the Sealy. And the Sealy will fly on top side. So follow him or her. You will see a chest guarded by a slime. If you get close, other two slimes will spawn. I say the other two slimes will spawn. I say the, watch me, other two slimes will spawn, just to kill them. Okay, after killed, open the normal chest. Basically, from here, this is where you can come uh, before 
if you didn't go straight but uh, turn your right side you can come here but uh, we needed the CD so yeah anyways uh, keep follow the CD and uh, here is his uh, shrine or her shrine Manchester and uh, here you will see in front of you a time limited challenge just uh, start it collect eight uh, Geoparticles within 25 seconds. Yeah, just slowly, slowly. No need to rush. Second one. Third. Fourth. Five. Six. There's enemy if you can, just a kill. And this chest will spawn. X is the chest from the challenge. Now, just come here on this jumping platform. Jump. Those uh, things will spawn, follow them. Fly. Get to this one. And activate your Statue of the Seven if you didn't activate it yet. So activate it. And now we can teleport here. But uh, before finishing this route, let's uh, get this that chest, the common chest inside that, uh, that barrier. Lunge attack. And here we go. After you took this chest, teleport back to the statue of the seven. And this is the first part of the old chest of the Cosmo Surface. Now on the second part I will make the rest. And maybe in future a third part in case I missed something. Uh, some some chest. But uh, yeah, probably one uh, will not. So that's all, guys, of the first part of the old chest of the Cosmos Surface. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the part two, and see you in the next video. Bye.